Hey, good morning guys. This is Mac here. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and teach you guys how to use the Tezos Kukai Wallet. The Kukai Wallet has great functionality, very easy to use, high security, and the team keeps updating it with new features quite often. So without more to do, let's get to it. All right, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to kukai.app. And as you can see from this screen, starting from the left, we have the overview, your account, uh, bakery, offline signing, backup, and logout. And down here you can see the donation address. So to get started, you first want to go ahead and go to logout. So this is the home screen. Uh, for this button, you can go ahead and connect your ledger. Uh, today we're not going to do that. We're just going to go ahead and a new wallet. You want to go ahead and take this password, write it down somewhere safe. I'll go ahead and put it in my notepad. Okay, so copy and paste that. You can uh, go ahead and just paste the same passphrase right here, or your seed phrase right here. Go to the next page create a password. This password is used for signing, so you need to make sure you remember this password. It's not just a one-time thing. In fact, actually, this is a uh, one. This is uh, changes every time you log out. So you need to make sure you set it. Kukai has quite a high password length requirement, so you're going to have to do new numbers. Uh, probably going to have to also use uppercase letters as well as special letters such as like explanation point, question mark, whatever. Go ahead and encrypt. And you wait, you got your public hash. You go ahead and copy this, the same notepad. You can download the file, take a backup, and then you can restore that later. Store that somewhere safe. Uh, I'd recommend offline. Put it on a USB or something and put it in your treasure chest or whatever however you want to keep it. <laughs> Save that document and then you hit finish. Now from here I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. From here I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and deposit some Tezos in here so we can do some test transactions. All right, I can see my other account. When you go ahead and make a new account, in order to receive any Tezos, you need to actually have Tezos in the account. So this time we're gonna go ahead and send, copy and paste the address we just made. We're gonna have to send around 0.5 Tezos, Tezzies. Put in your password. see it has been transferred. Go ahead and log out. Now from here I'm going to go ahead and log in using the previous passphrase. So go ahead and go to import wallet. You don't have to do you can either import you can import from your file that we just did. Go ahead and take it in from your wallet. And just wait a second. Alright, now you can go ahead and see that it is the new balance is shown here. Go to account, go to bakery. Now if you want to go ahead and delegate 
So it tells us address. We can go ahead and select a baker. I'm gonna hit delegate. I'm gonna delegate to Tezos Japan. There'll be a small fee in a uh, small fee. You put in your password. And confirmation. Another thing to note. You can also change to various languages, Japanese, English, French, I think, what is that, Russian, Portuguese. The reason I like Kukai the most is because it's they keep their node updated. They also have the ability to sign offline. So you can choose your, you can choose your signing operation and then go ahead and uh, sign offline. You can also create a new account uh, if you want to delegate to several bakers at once. And that's the end of the video. I hope this video helps you store your Tezos more securely. If you're looking for an active baker, feel free to delegate to Tezos Japan. Tezos Japan is a Tezos bakery based in downtown Tokyo. We have been running for about a year now. Our service is run under a secure firewall with multiple redundant ISP connections and two synchronized nodes. This ensures that our baker has very little downtime. If you delegate to Tezos Japan, our normal fee is 8%. However, if you register via Telegram or email, that fee is cut in half. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in Tezos and other cryptocurrencies, be sure to hit the subscribe button and stay up to date. Thank you for viewing.